Welcome to Launchpad Tech News. What's up, tech heads? Let's, let's just jump right into it. We're gonna be talking about drones. There's lots of different news on drones that we wanted to share with you guys. So, here we go. What does Pizza Whale Research and the Pentagon have in common? Well, we're gonna learn about that later on in this video. But before we get into these hot topics, here's Brandon, the Launchpad intern, to share with you some fun facts about drones. The very first drone could be considered Nikola Tesla's 1898 remote-controlled boat. Nikola Tesla was the inventor of radio technology. When Mr. Tesla was first testing his remote-controlled boat, onlookers believed that it was either witchcraft or a small monkey inside the boat that was actually controlling the boat. Consumer drones now come in all shapes and sizes. Some are made to carry packages, shoot videos, or even fit into tight spaces. Amazon and UPS have begun research into delivering packages using drones. Domino's has even delivered pizzas to customers in New Zealand via drones. So uh, so what you're saying is I cannot order a drone pizza at this time. Okay, thanks. No pizza via drone, but there are some pretty cool stuff that drones are doing in the realm of wildlife research. Drones are changing the way scientists research wildlife. The whale scientist Ian Kerr used to have to collect flesh samples by shooting whales with a crossbow. One day, Ian was collecting samples and a whale that was getting ready to dive down let out a big breath. Now, when a whale lets out a big breath, um, obviously there's a lot of water and fluid in there, so it's he essentially sneezed all over Dr. Kerr. He was essentially covered in whale snot. So that sounds pretty gross, but Dr. Kerr had a realization in that moment. He realized that if he could just gather this substance, that he wouldn't have to gather the whale flesh. So what he does now is he uses a drone that has several Petri dishes over it. He flies the drone in and tries to capture the whale snot. So he's dubbed this drone the snot bot. Pretty clever. As you can see, this is very important for a whale researcher, but what does that have to do with you and me? Well, this research is to determine the health of the ocean by determining the health of the whale. Essentially, healthy whales, healthy ocean, which means healthy beaches for you and me. In an effort to embody the ideological slogan, don't be evil, Google dropped this new project that they've been working on with the Pentagon called Project Maven. Project Maven was created to amass an artificial intelligence image classification database from drone footage. This would enable drones to identify various objects, such as people, from dogs, from trees. You get the idea. So giving a drone flying around the ability to decipher all these different things sounds pretty interesting. However, the employees at Google thought that might not be a good thing for them to be working on. Google employees have been concerned with the company being involved with military projects. They have petitioned to end these projects. Google employees say it's too risky for a drone program, even an AI program, to make these decisions. They say it should be the decision of a human being, not a computer. Google employees lobbied against this project. Ultimately, the project is scheduled to be dropped by 2019. Bees. Robot bees. Miniature drones called micro drones are being developed to pollinate crops. These insect drones mimic the function of bees to allow for a much greater harvest. Built in a Harvard Robotics Laboratory are actually modeled after the mechanics of flies. Piezoelectric actuators that expand and contract with electricity flap the wings at 120 times per second. The real question is, what, what does robo honey taste like? Well, we're not really sure, but all this research was conducted basically because the world's bee population is fastly declining due to what's called colony collapse disorder. Whereas this may not be the preferred situation, but uh, you know, it's, it's a very interesting application of drone technology. Something you may already have seen is Intel's application of drones for aerial light shows. The ability to do work autonomously is something, something out of a Jetsons dream. The engineers at Intel created an army of drones for a special light show at the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics, showing just how intricately drones can be made to work together. If Intel can do this with a light show, can they do this with other things? This clip shows drones building a wall. Maybe the future of drones is building our offices and homes. That sure would change the labor force as we know it today. Thanks for listening to Launchpad Tech News. All the links to what we talked about in this video are in the description below. Feel free to like this video, subscribe. My name is Jordan Maldivias, and we'll see you next time.